What's up, fellow RC addicts, enthusiasts, and just anybody with a general interest in the RC hobby? Bear down here with you. We got my uh, my brother's Max here with us. He was kind enough to allow me to film the installation of his new castle motor he's putting in. It's a fairly easy swap. We'll be putting the Mamba X in there, which as you can see is a lot smaller than the uh, stock VXL 4S system and this will handle 6S. And then we have the uh, Castle 15, 15 uh, 2200 kV motor. So this will be mostly ran on 4S, only 6S occasionally. But uh, the nice thing about this is it should be actually a pretty fairly simple swap. The VXL motor mount actually fits onto this. They have the same angles on it. So we'll be able to mount that right up. The only thing is, is now my local hobby shops have a mounting board for this and since it is honeycombed on the bottom it's pretty hard to use a double-sided tape so what some people do is they use either Lexan cut it out the shape of the stock VXL motor uh, what we're actually going to be using is some of this Kydex we have that we've been using to make knives sheaths for the knives so it's got a textured side I don't know if you can see that yep. And it's got a flat side so we're going to be mounting this side up tracing that out and then we'll be using the double sided tape to stick the Mamba X to this until we can get the proper RPM mount for it so we'll go ahead and get started start taking things apart um, one thing is we, we're also going to be disconnecting the telemetry system we'll be putting this set up in another vehicle not sure which one yet but we'll be bringing the telemetry over with us. So go ahead and just start getting things taken apart. So like I said, this is my brother's vehicle. This is not my Max. So we're going to need to disconnect pretty much everything but the steering servo. Alright, so we got that disconnected. That is connected. To disconnect the ESC is pretty simple. It's just these two screws in there. Some long boys. Flip this guy over. Back here, go ahead and should be able to loosen up enough to slide that cable underneath now. Probably would have been easier just to take the whole box off. Alright, so there's our ESC. So here's a good comparison of the size difference. And then we're just going to go ahead and not worry about taking off any of the covers for the uh, telemetry. I'm just going to remove the whole box at once. Sorry. Next we take off the pinion cover. And then we're just going to undo this screw and this screw down in the hole. And then the last screw holding this motor on should be this guy right here. So it is a little dirty in there. We were having some fun in the sand. We also got our pin here. Make sure we don't lose that. The diagram for it. Traxxas does the pin system on the Max and the X Max where you just figure out what your gearing is. Tells you what pin number to be in and just match it up there. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. <clears throat> so, now I'm kind of wondering if I'll be able to use this stock plate. Only one way to figure out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off, get this removed, clean this off, and uh, be right back. Before we put the new motor away, or sorry, the old one, if anybody want to get a size comparison, so there's the VXL, the stock 4 SVXL. I believe it's uh, 
2400 KV. The length. And then it's a little bit fatter. So I'm hoping because this one has a little extra buffer for the back mount that we'll be able to use the same uh, motor mount, the, uh, the whole thing, the pin system, but if not, that'll be okay. We'll just have to try to set it the old-fashioned way, but we'll figure something out. All right, so the motor mount lines up perfectly with the castle motor, and then we're able to keep the plate on there. It sits on there nice and flush, so it's almost like it was meant for this. Pretty nice. So the way we're going to try to orientate the, orientate the wires, my brother wants to try to do it flat and kind of keep them laid down flat as possible and plugged in this way, and he wants to put the ESC and power wire going in towards. So it's my brother's truck, so I'm gonna do it the way he wants to. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're just gonna go ahead, put this motor mount on. Let's make sure we're using Loctite for this. Just got a little dish of the Loctite. Dip a little bit on there. Go ahead and get that started. Remember, we don't wanna tighten that down all the way. We wanna make sure we got room for the plate to move around a little bit, a little bit. So that is another reason we did go with this uh, setup as well. Did a lot of research and it seemed like it was a pretty uh, simple switch to make it from the VXL system over to this one. I actually, knock on wood, didn't think it was going to be as easy as it has been. Obviously if we had the uh, RPM mount for the uh, Mamba X, we would be in a lot better shape. But all right, so we're mounted on there. We may adjust that. Going to figure out how the wires lay down. Still using the stock gearing, which so says pin E. So we'll go ahead and slide that right back into pin E. I'm going to go ahead and put these two bottom motor screws in. Alright, now that we have the actual motor mount on there, I'll go ahead and just kind of properly set the pinion where it should be at on the shaft. Put that in the center, tighten back down, good to go. We're going to hold off on putting the, uh, hold off on putting that cover on for now. What we're going to do is take a piece of Kydex here. So we want to use the same mounting holes that the stock 4X VXL system did. So we're just going to go ahead and trace that out. Good sharp pair of scissors or some like uh, tin snips cut through this pretty well as, or pretty easily as well. We're just going to kind of get the rough shape out and then we're going to come back with the Dremel and make it look real nice. Alright, so we've got the piece into a rough shape, so we're just going to kind of get it in a rough position here. And we're just going to do one hole at a time. Okay, so we got our first hole set. Perfect. And this is going to be what we mount the uh, ESC to. So before we get too much further, so yeah, this time I'm going to make sure I get the sensor wire plugged in before I get the ESC in place so I'm not struggling because that's no fun. Rubbed everything down with some 91% uh, isopropyl. Went ahead and already attached the double-sided Gorilla Tape. going to try to to wipe that down. My brother wants it facing in this way, so I think we're going to try to give ourselves as much room and not... Uh, we got plenty of room. I think we're just going to mount it in the center and make it look aesthetically pleasing. kind of looks off center on camera. Good old 
double sided gorilla tape. We're just gonna go ahead and try to find the very center of this. It's about center. Push down. The nice thing about this Mamba X is it's a nice solid metal ESC. Push down on that. Good to go. Alright, so we're back here. Got the wires nicely organized here. Uh, this my brother had wanted the wires to kind of lay flat down on themselves so I don't know kind of put it down here but so it's kind of attached to itself so it's not sitting directly on the motor but it is sitting nice and flat I didn't record that I didn't know if that would be something that you guys would be interested in if it is go ahead and leave a comment um, I also ran the wire for the ESC I don't know if you can see this but there's actually see if I can get this in the shot here. Right there you can see the little channel that's actually cut out to run the ESC wire underneath here into the uh, receiver box to plug it in. So just make sure you do that because if you don't put that there you're going to end up pitching your wires. So we have everything rubbed down with alcohol. It's good and dry now tape down we're just gonna go ahead and get this tape peeled up here that we decided he ended up wanting to have it right over here go ahead and squeeze it down slide that wire over we're gonna end up doing is zip tying these three together so go ahead and do that right now so this is the censored wire along with the uh, the power switch wire there. Get that out of the way. Let me go ahead and clean this out real quick. There we go. So here we go. Got the servo. So put net one. One to turn. Two to burn. Again, not familiar with the layout of all that, not mine. Wow, oh, there's a lot of extra antenna on this bad boy. Code of the dielectric grease across the top here. Alrighty folks, so there you go. Like I said if you're interested in the uh, wire management here, just leave a comment, let me know. She should uh, be a little bit more peppy, and then he was also excited about having the censored function. So again, this was just the Castle Creations, the 1550 can. The can fits straight onto the stock VXL mount. It actually works as a good brace. It fits on there perfectly. And then the Mamba X, since it is so much smaller than the stock VXL 4S system, you can take, like I said, the Lexan or use like the Kydex like I did. And if your uh, hobby shop is out of the RPM mounts or whatever you want to use, then that's a quick way, quick and cheap way to get a good mount and a good flat surface so you don't have to worry about all the honeycombing. So as always, I hope this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and leave a like. If you're not already, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't do it either, go ahead and at least have fun with RC folks. Bear down on.